Hi, this is Mrs. Freifeld, and today I'm going to show you how to combine like terms in an algebraic expression, and I'm going to be modeling it with algebra tiles. First, let's go over some important algebra vocabulary. An algebraic expression is a mathematical phrase that contains numbers, operations, and at least one variable. The difference between an expression and an equation is that an algebraic equation has equal signs and an algebraic expression does not. Variable. It's a letter in an algebraic expre expression that represents a number that can change. Here's my first example. x plus 1 equals 3. In this case, the variable x has the value of 2. But if I change the numbers surrounding x in this expression, and change it to x plus 1 equals 7, then the value of x changes to 6. The variable didn't change, but its value did. Terms. The, the parts of an algebraic expression that are separated by plus or minus signs. These are examples of terms. And today we're going to be talking about combining like terms like terms have the same variable raised to the same power. So with these first two that I've circled, they both have the variable x, and it's raised to the first power. You don't see that it's raised to the first power, but you assume that it is if you see no number there. These are also like terms because they have the same variable, and they're both raised to the second power. This term does not have a like term because there are no other y's raised to the first value. Okay, let's see how this works. The first thing I want you to do when you look at the algebraic expression is look for like terms. Here I see this one and this one, and I'm going to combine them using my positive and negative integer rules. The signs are different, so I subtract that gives me 1x, and I use the sign in front of the biggest digit, which is positive. That is a positive x. The other like terms are 5 and negative 1. I can combine them. The signs are different, so I subtract. That would leave 4. And I use the sign in front of the biggest digit, and that would be a positive 4. Now let me show, show you what it looks like on algebra tiles. These algebra tiles represent that algebraic expression above, and I'm going to get rid of some of them and combine them by finding zero pairs. Well, a negative x and a positive x cancel one another out. I can do it again. A negative and a positive cancel one another out. I can't cancel any more variables, but I can with numbers. A positive and a negative cancel out. There's nothing else to cancel out, and it's left with x equals, I mean, x plus 4. And as you can see, that's what I got above. Let's try it again. Okay, I see my like terms as being here and here. Okay, the signs are different. I subtract. That gives me 2x. And I use the sign in front of the biggest digit. That leaves a positive 2x. And here are also like terms, this one and this one. I see the signs are different, so I subtract. That leaves me 2, and I use the sign in front of the biggest digit. That leaves me negative 2. So that when I combine like terms, it gives me 2x minus 2. Let's look and see what happens on our algebra tiles. Okay, I'm going to get rid of zero pairs with my variables first. They go they go. There's no other variables that I can get rid of. There are no more zero pairs of the variables, but there are with the numbers. So that positive cancels out that negative. Same there. Same there. And I'm left with two positive x's and two negatives. 2x minus 2. One last time. I'm going to start combining my variables. These are like terms. I include the sign in front of it. 
Okay, the signs are different. I subtract, that leaves me 2x, and I use the sign in front of the biggest digit. That leaves me a negative 2x. Now I'm going to combine this one with this last one up here. Again, the signs are different. I subtract, that leaves me 1x, and I use the sign in front of the biggest digit. And that leaves me a negative 1x or a negative x. Now I'm going to go ahead and combine these numbers. The signs are different. I subtract, that leaves me 1. And I use the sign in front of the biggest digit, so that's a negative 1. Let's see how this works with our algebra tiles. I'm going to get rid of zero pairs, starting with my variables. They go. They go. Okay, I'm done getting rid of the variables that, that make zero pairs, but I have numbers. They go. And they go. And that leaves me with negative x minus 1. And that's it. Good job.